A breaking news update now at 10. Unconstitutional. That's what a federal judge downstate said about Illinois' ban on assault weapons. The judge's order doesn't take effect for 30 days, and the state has already filed an appeal. Our Darius Johnson is digging into this ruling, and he joins us now from the newsroom. Darius? Joe, good evening. This ban has been through many battles since it was signed into law just last year, and the judge's 160-page opinion leans on recent Supreme Court rulings citing Second Amendment rights to keep and bear firearms. A federal judge in downstate Illinois overturned the Illinois ban on semi-automatic weapons. It bans AR-15 style rifles and similar large capacity magazines and attachments. And some gun advocates challenged it. Illinois does not want to be the test case that shows all of these state uh, so-called assault weapon bans are unconstitutional. Dan Eldridge is the president of Firearm Licensees of Illinois. He's also one of the plaintiffs who argued assault-style weapons banned under this law are commonly used for self-defense purposes. This trial was on the merits of the case, and he found in our favor and found that PICA's assault weapon ban is unconstitutional under the Second and Fourteenth Amendment. Rachel Jacoby of Highland Park was in Springfield on January 10th, 2023, the day Governor J.B. Pritzker signed the ban into law. It was July 4th, 2022, when a man with a high-powered rifle opened fire on an Independence Day parade, killing seven. This ruling is a slap in the face to every single person in Illinois who's been affected by gun violence. Because those of us who have been personally affected by gun violence know the pain and the trauma that comes from experiencing this. In a statement, Governor J.B. Pritzker said in part this law was enacted to and has protected Illinoisans from the constant fear of being gunned down in places where they ought to feel secure. Although the ruling has already been appealed by the state, Eldridge says he hopes the plaintiffs are fortunate enough to win. And everything goes back to how it was on January 9th of 2023. Jacoby hopes the ban stays in place because regular people should not be able to access assault-style weapons. We know firsthand the devastation and trauma that these assault weapons can cause our communities, and we want to make sure that no other community has to experience that pain, that carnage, and that horror that we experience. Back in July, the Supreme Court declined to review this case and others challenging the law. They were all sent back to district courts, but now one Maryland case has been up to the Supreme Court. If they take that case, they could take this one or it could go back to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS News Chicago. Joe, back to you. Thank you, Darius.